friends, Miss Cassie here with Antelope Lending Library's Story Time for All. This month, the book that we are going to read together is The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. This book is a classic, and for a good reason. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. Then he walked with his toes pointing in like this. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. Look at those two long tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. Oh look, now there's three lines in the snow. It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Look, he smacks the tree and the snow jumps off the branches. <gasps> Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. So he keeps walking. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. So he made a smiling snowman and he made angels. Have you ever made snow angels before? Where you lay down on the ground and you move your arms and legs in the snow and it looks like an angel? Yeah, me too. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and then he slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. Hmm, what do you think is going to happen to the cold snowball that Peter put in his pocket? Do you think it's still going to be a cold, round snowball in his pocket tomorrow morning? Let's find out. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Look, he's taking a nice, warm bath, bubble bath, it looks like. That's perfect after a long day outside in the cold snow, isn't it? Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket, but his pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. What do you think happened to his snowball? If you look at the picture, there's a little dark circle on his coat pocket. What do you think that is? Yeah, do you think his snowball melted? Yeah, that's what happens to snow when it warms up, right? It melts and then it's not a snowball anymore. It's just a wet spot. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone and the snow was still everywhere. In fact, New snow was falling. Look at those beautiful snowflakes. I love those snowflakes. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall, and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. The end. I love this book, The Snowy Day, because it reminds me of all the times when I was a kid and I would get dressed up in my snow pants and my snow coat, my warm winter coat with my gloves and my hat, 
and I would go outside and play. Do you have any memories or any adventures that you've gone on in the snow during the winter? That's great. Thanks for listening, friends, and we'll see you next time with Storytime for All.